Alegrias Escovia happens on the one, it begins on the one. And so everything in the compas gets shifted over, because as you recall, Alegrias Compas begins on 12. But once you start Escovia, you start phrasing from one, and then the phrases become one, four, seven, and 11. So you're basically in threes. Now the chord progression guitar goes bum 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 and repeat over and over. So it's good if you can hear that little chord progression in your head while you're doing this exercise or if you're putting together your own Alegrias Escovia. Now typically Alegrias Escovia and this applies to Soleá as well sometimes is uh, you're going to use toe, heel, heel, flat two times. In other words, toe, heel, heel, toe, heel, 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 heel. That's, the how, that's the beginning of a phrasing for Alegrias Escobilla. If you start doing that, the guitarist will likely, if they understand flamenco structure, will start playing those chords. Even if they don't catch it right away, they'll, they'll catch it down the line. So again, you're going usually have a catch step in between. So that would be going one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that you're you're accounting for six beats. By counting compas it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so usually you'll have that with some kind of variation after it, okay? So what I'm going to show you today is going to be something that's a pretty simple pattern, but we're going to incorporate the upper body, and this is a good exercise just to put everything together, feet, upper body phrasing, uh, use of the head. So the base of the step is this. If I'm facing forward, you start on seventh position, body torqued further than the hips, hips on a slight corner. And I go from here to there. When I see the feet, there. That's the base of the step. Okay? Now, there's a longer part that we tag on to that. So we do that part I just did. So, now just the feet, that last, the, the extended part is Okay, now I'm just doing the same thing on the same foot three times. Now, before I put the upper body into it, I'm going to step forward and back and forward again. But it all happens on the same foot. If you see from the side, I'm going forward, back, and forward. But it always starts left planta. Okay, so done from the side. You can see I'm here. This is the first one. freed up in position to do it on my left side. So the, the variation with the upper body, we're, we're only using seventh position in this particular part. As I'm going forward on that variation, then look back over the left shoulders, I take the foot back, and then back to, back to base. And feet together at the end so you're well placed to go to the other side. Okay? So down up to speed. Notice the head is always cornering over the front shoulder. It's up to you whether you want to be real sharp or you want to make it a little bit more smoothed out. That's personal preference. But I would say for this exercise, it's a good idea to use the head so that you could use it if you wanted to. You need to develop that sharpness and focus. So with 
super shocked it would be here.